When politicians repealed the law that allowed historical horse racing, a devastating blow was dealt to the livelihoods of Idaho families and communities involved in horse racing. Lavoie Park was closed and hundreds lost their jobs. Proposition 1 seeks to right this political wrong, restore jobs, generate money for our schools, and bring horses back to the track. We, the owners of Treasure Valley Racing and the sole financial supporters of Proposition 1, are so committed to the sport of racing, to the many people who work in the business, and to Idaho's rural communities that breed, train, and work with horses that we have pledged 100% of our net profits to charitable causes. Causes like college scholarships, youth programs, 4-H, FFA, and rural healthcare needs. The casinos funding the opposition will try to mislead and deny this one simple fact. Proposition 1 is about people's lives and livelihoods. It's about millions for schools. It's about economic development in rural and urban communities. And it's about making a time-honored and fun tradition sustainable for Idaho's future generations. For these reasons, I urge all Idahoans to vote yes on Proposition 1. I'm Garden City Mayor John Evans, and I'm opposed to Prop 1 because Prop 1 uses legal live horse racing as a ruse to introduce casino-style gambling statewide. Eight days of live horse racing grants 365 days of casino-style gambling. Promoters claim this would help education, but promoters get 18 times more than education would receive. And when these machines were allowed in the past, the state auditor found that the money that was supposed to go to education was actually illegally misused in other areas. Targeted legislation that benefits a private, for-profit company that hasn't succeeded on its own is bad public policy. Idaho voters shouldn't be in a position where they are choosing business winners and losers. Please join me in voting no on Prop 1.